It was something that attracted me. Her uniform, the way uh, she talked about her job, the passion in her eyes. Mom was shocked. She was, you're too small for such a job, for such tough training. Kubra took the, the first step for Afghan uh, woman. Kubra opened the doors. Hi, I'm Kabora Ali. I'm a private within the Australian Defence Force and I joined when I was 18 and I just recently turned 19. Uh, it puts a smile to my face being the first Afghan female. I didn't know anyone who was part of the army, none of my friends were. Sometimes I did doubt myself or whether is this right. I started thinking of the process of joining the army when I was in year 10. That's when defence personnel came to our school um, advertising the job. Through the process you go to, through a psychological test, um, two physical tests. Um, and an interview. Salam. Salam alaikum chitari. Kupi. Good thanks. Yeah, it's been a long time. Definitely my sister Razia helped me throughout. She was supportive of me because she initially wanted to join. She was the first person who, um, when I was very young, she always talked about joining. But unfortunately at that time, society's view towards girls joining the army, especially in our community, they weren't very supportive about that. Until three days before um, she um, left for Kapuka, we didn't tell our parents and the family. We kept the secret because I didn't want it, those obstacles that stopped me from doing something that I loved so that it doesn't stop Kubra doing the same. I was scared they won't you know, accept my decision. Uh, my parents thought I would straight go to war and they said I'm not prepared for it, I'm very young. The first few days I thought it was the wrong decision. Whenever we got the chance to use our phones, I would literally be, you know, very emotional. It was hard to, you know, um, talk to them because I missed them so much at that time. خود تو انتخاب کرده دیگه ولی خود تو انتخاب کرده بیشی دیگه منجی باید طاقت کنی دیگه پدرت کمی قدر مسافری ها را طاقت کرده تو سه ماهی دیگه هم بیشی از خاطر که جانم در خطر بود طالبا در افغانستان برادر در سر قدرت بود از خاطر طالبا طالبا زندگی کدر نمیشت سال دو هزار دو هزار دو هزار هم دو ما به فامیلی خدای سر لیم دو مره such a culture shock of being, um, you know, waking up early, um, being told what to do. The physical side was very challenging for me as I was very short and it was very hard for me to sometimes keep up with the boys. When I spoke to my dad, he said, I came to Australia, I didn't speak any English. I, I worked alone uh, for seven years picking up oranges. Um, like, if I can do it, you can do it as well. Every time I wanted to give up, I only remembered him saying that and it really helped me to um, work harder. She wrote me lots of letters during those first um, days. It's her first letter. Dear my beloved sister, I am trying my hardest not to disappoint you in any way. I always looked up to you. I love you heaps, missing you like hell. I titled this the best day because it was certainly the best day for me, seeing my sister after two months. My beautiful sister. This is the best day as I have my sister. I am the emotional one, but I said that you have to keep with this because that's your dream. So we just need to check that the dates line up on the 157s and the 140s. Mm -hmm. I'm a Muslim within the army and uh, there's so many people from different religions and we all find our place here and you're always respected. When she first marched in, she was pretty nervous, but she's opened up, you can see a sense of humour and it's, it's good to see. Privately, is one of our clerks here, so she is probably one of the backbone of the company. 
everyone here is a soldier first, so they have to be able to be proficient in arms, proficient in physical awareness. And listening to her story and what she's achieved to get here, it's pretty awe inspiring. Um, in the next five years or in the future um, within the army, I'm definitely looking forward to you know moving up the rank. I really want to be deployed to Afghanistan. That's where I came from, and you know being able to work with Australian soldiers and, and Afghan soldiers to provide peace, see children, and give them some hope as well. It's definitely a place I want to be deployed. یک چند روز پیش خود شم دیدین در تلویزون که نفرای خوب خوب از بین رفت افغانستان نفر یک جرزیش نداره خصوصا ازارا گفته خوشیم که بوره مقصد زیاد چیز نیم خود کبرا مفهمه بیتر She's like the first Afghan girl to be in the army. Most of the girls are really young, so year 10, 11. They all look up to um, Kubra because she's achieved so much. It's like a role model now. Lots of other Afghan uh, girls asking her and asking me how Kubra joined, how can we join. I'm very happy and very proud to be their role model and hope to inspire them. The Afghan community, they're very uh, proud of me and that has really impacted their view towards girls doing whatever they like.